Greetings to you all. I would like to welcome you to today's class. And we are going to talk about electronic contracts. Electronic contracts in Uganda. It is important for you to know about how people transact electronically. Remember that the world has become global. We are in a global economy. And we are in what we call globalization. These days you don't have to go to Japan, you don't have to go to China to transact. But you can use a gadget next to you to engage with a supplier, like your phone, like your laptop. So this is a new law that has come into place. As business scholars and law scholars, it is pertinent that you learn about what we call electronic contracts. And the leading laws in Uganda in regard to electronic contracts we have the Electronic Transactions Act of 2011. We have the Electronic Signatures Act of 2011. The Electronic Transactions Regulations of 2013. Then we want to begin by making some definitions from Section 2 of the Electronic Transactions Act, which is the interpretation section. And it sets out the different definitions of you not know, some words. We'll begin by automated transaction. That it means an electronic transaction conducted or performed in whole or in part by means of a data message in which the conduct or data message of one or both parties is not reviewed by a person, by a natural person, in the ordinary course of the natural person's business all employment. Number two, let's define a consumer. But a consumer means a person who enters or intends to enter into an electronic transaction where the supplier as the end user of the goods or services offered by that supplier. A definition number three is of data. That it means electronic representations of information in any form. And number four, data message. It means data generated, sent, received or stored by computer means and includes a voice, while the voice is used in an automated transaction and a stored record. A definition of data subject. That it means a person from whom or in respect of whom personal information has been requested, collected, collected, Process or stored. Electronic agent, that it means a computer program or an electronic or other automated means used independently to initiate an action or respond to data messages or performances in whole or in part in an automated transaction. And then electronic communication, that it means a communication by means of data messages. And then we have what we call electronic record. That it means data which is recorded or stored on any medium in or by a computer system or other similar device that can be read or perceived by a person or a computer system or other similar device and includes a display, printout or other output of that data. And then electronic signature, that it means data in electronic form are fixed to or logically associated with a data message, which may be used in, to identify the signature in relation to the data message and indicates the signature is approval of the information contained in the data message. And includes an advanced electronic signature as well as secure signature. Another definition, electronic transaction, that it means the exchange of information or data, the sale or purchase of goods or services between businesses, households, individuals, governments, and other public or private organizations conducted over computer-mediated networks. And information is defined as, or information includes data, text, images, sounds, Code, computer programs, software, and databases. 
And the last definition is the definition of information system. That it means a system for generating, sending, receiving, storing, displaying or otherwise processing data messages. And includes the internet or any other information sharing system. So you all need those definitions. It's important for you to appreciate the meaning of those words. Because as you go ahead and read the Electronic Transactions Act, you'll get them. So if you understand them at the beginning, you'll be able to appreciate the sections which refer to some of those words. Uh, formation of an electronic contract. That is under the laws of Uganda. Uh, this is reflected upon under Section 13 of the Electronic Transactions Act, which states that in an automated transaction, this is section 13.1, in an automated transaction A, a contract may be formed where an electronic agent, an, electri an electronic agent may be an app, may be a computer, may be a phone, performs an action required by law in order to form a contract. That it's a contract may, that in an automated transaction, a contract may be formed where an electronic agent performs an action required by law in order to form a contract. So when we look at the principles of offer, it may involve an offer, and then acceptance, and then consideration. If those principles are realized, that if those principles are realized, then that can be a complete contract that is initiated or made by an electronic agent. And section 13B, 13.1B, 13 a contract may be formed by a party to the transaction using an electronic agent to enter into the contract. So you can use a device, you can use a computer, a laptop, or a phone to initiate and complete a contract. You do not have to meet the person physically. So you can initiate, you can communicate until the end of the contract. That's what section 13.1b is all about. And lastly, under electronic contracts, I want to note this, that under section 14, a contract by means of a data message is concluded at the time when and the place where acceptance of the offer is received by the person making the offer. Let me say it again. That a contract by means of a data message is concluded at the time when and the place where acceptance of the offer is received by the person making the offer. Thank you all for watching. May the good Lord bless you. Don't hesitate to subscribe onto my YouTube channel for more of such videos. They come with a business and a legal touch.